Ever wonder how people are making thousands of dollars every month on Amazon with just a few hours of work? You see the screenshots, you hear the stories, but what does it really take to build a successful Amazon business without it taking over your life? That's what we're diving into today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to leverage the power of Amazon to generate over $4,000 a month, all while working just one hour per day. We're talking proven strategies, automation hacks, and the exact steps you can take to start seeing real passive income from your own Amazon business. Whether you're completely new to e-commerce or you've tried and failed in the past, this video is for you. Stay tuned until the end, because I'm going to reveal the biggest mistakes most Amazon sellers make and how you can avoid them to guarantee your success. Let's talk about the different ways you can make money on Amazon. Each option has its own pros and cons. First, retail and online arbitrage. Buy low, sell high. It's a great start but time-consuming. Next, drop shipping. Partner with a supplier who handles storage and shipping. List products and the supplier ships them. For a long-term business, try private labeling. Create your own branded products and sell them on Amazon. You control your product, pricing, and brand. Okay, so you've chosen your Amazon business model. Now let's talk about finding the right products to sell. This is where things get really exciting, but it's also where a lot of people get stuck. The key here is to find a niche that's profitable, has low competition, and most importantly is something you're actually interested in. Think about it. If you're passionate about what you're selling, it's going to show in your product listings, your marketing, and your overall customer experience. Plus, it's going to make running your business a whole lot more enjoyable. Now, how do you actually find these hidden gems? That's where product research tools come in. I'm talking about software like Jungle Scout, Helium 10, and Viral Launch. These tools allow you to spy on your competitors, track product rankings, analyze keywords, and get a deep understanding of what's selling well on Amazon. Look for sub-niches within larger categories. For example, instead of just selling yoga mats, maybe you focus on eco-friendly yoga mats made with organic materials. By getting specific, you're tapping into a smaller, less competitive market which means higher profit margins and a better chance of ranking your products. All right, now that you've got your product and your niche figured out, it's time to build your Amazon empire. Don't worry, setting up your Amazon store is easier than you might think. First things first, you'll need to create a professional seller account. This will give you access to all the tools and resources you need to list your products, manage your inventory, and track your sales. Once you're all set up, it's time to create your product listings. This is where you really get to showcase your product and convince customers to hit that buy now button. Your product title is your first impression, so make it count. Use relevant keywords, highlight the key benefits of your product, and make sure it's clear and concise. Next up, you've got your product description. This is your chance to really dive into the details and answer any questions your customers might have. Use bullet points to break up the text and make it easy to read. Highlight the features and benefits of your product, and don't forget to sprinkle in some social proof, like customer reviews or testimonials. And of course, no product listing is complete without high-quality images. Use professional-looking photos that showcase your product from different angles. Okay, let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, automation. Specifically, how Amazon FBA can turn your business into a well-oiled passive income machine. Remember how I mentioned earlier that FBA is like having a team of Amazon employees working for you around the clock? Well, it's true. Here's how it works. You send your inventory to Amazon's fulfillment centers and they take care of everything else. Picking, packing, shipping, customer service, even returns and exchanges. This means you can say goodbye to late night packing sessions, trips to the post office and dealing with customer inquiries. Because Amazon handles all the logistics, your products are automatically eligible for prime shipping which as you know is a huge selling point for customers. Prime members are more likely to buy from Prime eligible sellers, so using FBA gives you a massive competitive advantage. Yes, there are fees involved, but trust me, the time and stress it saves you are well worth it. Every hour you're not spending packing boxes or answering customer emails is an hour you can spend on more important things, like growing your business or enjoying your life. All right, you've got your products listed, your FBA is set up, but how do you actually get people to buy your stuff? That's where marketing comes in. And no, you don't need a massive advertising budget or a marketing degree to be successful. With a few simple strategies, you can drive traffic to your listings and start generating sales from day one. 
First up, we've got Amazon sponsored products. This is essentially pay per click advertising within Amazon's platform. You bid on keywords related to your products and your ads appear at the top of search results or on product detail pages. It's a great way to get your products in front of potential customers who are already searching for what you're selling. Next, we've got Amazon SEO or search engine optimization. This is all about optimizing your product listings so they rank higher in Amazon search results. This involves using relevant keywords in your product title, description, and bullet points, as well as getting customer reviews and maintaining a good seller rating. But don't forget about marketing outside of Amazon. Social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest can be great ways to connect with potential customers, build brand awareness, and drive traffic to your listings. Remember at the beginning of this video when I promised you could build a successful Amazon business working just one hour a day? Well, I wasn't kidding. The key to achieving this level of freedom is all about working smarter, not harder. And that means leveraging the power of time management and automation tools. First and foremost, you need to get organized. Use a project management tool like Asana or Trello to keep track of your tasks, deadlines, and progress. Create a daily or weekly schedule and stick to it as much as possible. Next, automate everything you can. Remember all those amazing FBA benefits we talked about earlier? That's just the tip of the iceberg. There are tons of other tools and services that can help you automate your business, from inventory management software to repricing tools to virtual assistants who can handle customer service and order fulfillment. One of my favorite time-saving hacks is to batch similar tasks together. For example, instead of checking your email and social media accounts constantly throughout the day, set aside specific times to focus on these tasks. You'll be amazed at how much more productive you become when you eliminate distractions and focus on one thing at a time. Okay, so you've got your Amazon business up and running, you're automating like a pro, but how do you know if it's actually working? That's where tracking your performance comes in. By monitoring key metrics, you can identify areas for improvement, optimize your strategies, and scale your business over time. Amazon Seller Central provides a wealth of data about your business. Pay close attention to your sales figures, conversion rates, customer reviews, and return rates. These metrics will give you valuable insights into what's working and what's not. Use this data to make informed decisions about your business. For example, if you notice that a particular product has a high return rate, it might be a sign that there's an issue with the product itself or with your product listing. On the other hand, if you see that a specific marketing campaign is driving a lot of sales, you'll want to invest more in that strategy. All right, we've covered a lot of ground in this video, but before I let you go, I want to talk about some common mistakes that Amazon sellers make so you can avoid them and set yourself up for success from the start. One of the biggest mistakes I see is sellers jumping on the bandwagon of trending products without doing their research. Just because something is selling well right now doesn't mean it will be profitable in the long run. Remember, fads come and go, so it's important to choose products that have long-term potential. Another common mistake is neglecting customer service. In the world of online retail, customer reviews are everything. Respond to customer inquiries promptly and professionally and go above and beyond to resolve any issues that may arise. A happy customer is more likely to leave a positive review and become a repeat buyer. And finally, don't fall into the trap of mismanaging your inventory. Running out of stock can lead to lost sales and damage your seller rating. Use inventory management software to track your stock levels and forecast demand accurately. So, there you have it, your roadmap to building a thriving Amazon business that generates over $4,000 a month in just one hour a day. We covered a lot of ground today, from choosing the right business model and conducting thorough product research to leveraging the power of FBA, mastering effective marketing strategies, and avoiding common pitfalls. The key takeaway here is that success on Amazon is achievable for anyone willing to put in the work and stay committed to the process. Remember, it all starts with taking action. Don't let this information sit idle. Start implementing these strategies today and watch as your Amazon business flourishes. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos on building wealth, entrepreneurship, and designing your dream life. I'll see you in the next one.